YouTube. Hi, my name is Mike, man. Welcome to the channel, 3SB.co, man. Be a part of something bigger yourself. We're in it. We got a heavy squad day, uh, whole day, new low today, kid. 201, no, 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 no. 200.5. Look, they don't know it, but I'm secretly added myself to the Barton Geo race, and I'm whooping their ass. Smoke. Smoke, bro. Smoke. Bart's got that dad bod with a big old ass. If you guys, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but like, I'm known for my dumpy, but Bart's got an ass. It's just King Peach. That's different, huh? It's weird, man. They call Omar King Peach. Well, and, and like me and Omar started the whole Peach Gang shit. Like, we've been on that. But, uh, isn't it the minions we were just talking about? Don't they have like little asses? Yeah, Bart's like that. Like, he could have whatever physique, and then his asses just kind of pop up. It looks like uh, fake boobies, but on his tushy. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, so, yeah, we got a little bit of squats. Probably try to go heavy. Back's a little stiff. I actually slept. I slept in for the first time probably in 10 years. I slept till like 8 o'clock. And then uh, pull. Catch a little pump in the back. A little bit of biceps. We'll see what we get into. Step one of being a power lifter. People like call it lazy and meme it, but like, if you're taking two to three minute breaks, like what else are you gonna do? You gotta have a bench. You gotta sit down, yeah. We got a bench at like every station in here on purpose. Like, why wouldn't you? How do you put on your shoes? You put on your shoes standing like an absolute psychopath? That's not it. What should we do? It would be sick if we were alive and we could make them choose a variation. Uh, like I would just squat whatever the fuck. Like, you know, or like a wheel, we spin to choose the bar and then chin to choose the variation or something. I know, I thought about Twitch streaming live more now. Cause we could Twitch stream with these. Yeah, okay. Around and then it wouldn't TOS us. And it wouldn't mess up the... Hey, comment below if you guys want live Twitch streams. It would be fun. Because, yeah, then I, I don't have to interrupt members. We don't got to change the music. And I, I, I'm sure we could attach that to a laptop or a phone. Oh, we can attach it to a phone. Yeah. It could be sick. I don't know. Just a thought, kids. What do you think is the best training split? Yeah, so, like, uh, training frequency. The main things we manipulate when we're training, I guess there's four-ish. Exercise selection, which is, like, variations or what exercise you choose to do. The volume, which is like sets times rest times weight. A lot of people just make it like, on the internet they just talk about like anything being high reps, high volume. That's not necessarily the case. Cause like 10 sets of three is still pretty high volume. Um, the other one's intensity, like how close to failure or how close to your one rep max do we go? How hard the movement is? Doesn't necessarily mean that you're fucking screaming at the bar and sniffing ammonia. That's just like emotional intensity. We're talking about training strategies. Uh, and then the other one's frequency. How often do you train or how often do you do a lift? Um, and like in a hypothetical world, yeah, like if you are fit enough, training seven days is the best. Now most people don't have uh, probably the genetics and the lifestyle to do that. Throw out the transformation pic that I threw on Instagram. All of this uh, was done with just bare minimal. I was training three to four days a week, and that's it. I would say the average power lifter is probably four to five times a week. You can get a lot, a lot of strength. The average bodybuilder is probably more like five to six times a week because they have to pay a little bit more attention to calves and arms and stuff like that. So they just have a little bit more exercises they have to get done. And I would say the average weightlifter, not only do they train five to seven days a week, a lot of times they have multiple sessions involved. What should you expect with the years worth of progress? I hate and love this question. Uh, the sad truth is that there's way too many factors to have an expectation. Genetics training age, sports background, how you're eating, how you're sleeping, right? What you should probably know is coming after a year of training is that any kind of linear progression, right? So you, you've never trained before, you start benching, you're gonna be able to add five or 10 pounds every single week. Squat, deadlift, overhead, all that. Once a year of training in, that's probably gonna disappear. Um, so this basic, you know, starting strength, five by five, three by five, and adding weight is gonna go away. Things are gonna get a lot more difficult. You should have gotten stronger, if you took before and afters, you should build some muscle, noticeable muscle in a year if you're eating protein and training. You also have to know that, yeah, now it's gonna be time to, like we talked about in the last question, kind of probably mess with that volume frequency. Um, you don't have to know it, just find a program, kaizentraining.com has a bunch of free ones. Um, 
follow one of those, a little bit more frequency and a little bit more volume is probably gonna be needed for you to continue to progress. I can't give you like a strength standard, it's all bullshit, right? Like there's some people that'll train their entire lives and never be able to bench 225. And then there's people that will train for a year and bench 500 pounds. That's just how the humans are made, yeah. I mean, it's not that crazy when you think about it. I was thinking about it, this may be like some crazy, I don't do drugs, but this is like some crazy, you know, Joe Rogan type talk. I was trying to think of, cause I, I love dogs. I don't really like animals, but I'll be looking for, to adopt a dog. And you look at the variance in those little shits, right? Like you take a Chihuahua and you take like a St. Bernard and like they're the same species. It's just like a different race kinda. But then when people say humans, and I don't think we're that different, but there's just differences in us. It's just how it is. It's the beauty that makes humans. We're all the same, but we're all different. A lot of it's gonna come down to uh, whether you're in a bulk or a cut. Uh, typically, if you're cutting, you're gonna to wanna to probably get some energy in your system just because your overall calorie is gonna be down. You wanna optimize your carbs pre and post workout as much as you can. It's not gonna be a deal breaker. Um, if you absolutely hate training on a full stomach, eat earlier or don't eat at all, it's gonna be fine. If you're monitoring your calories and eating enough the day before and the weeks before, you're gonna be fine. Um, a lot of it is personal preference. And, and some of that changes with age, man. Your boy getting old. Somebody, your homeboy this weekend, man, he thought he thought I was like 18. He thought I was one of the boys. That's what I'm saying. Look at me, man. I, I was telling you, you look younger. I never even had Botox or nothing. But <laughs> back in the day, uh, when I only worked at home, yeah. I've always kind of worked for myself, but when I only worked at home, I'd eat a burrito at like 11, 11.30, and then train at one or two every single day. And it felt great. Um, now we train around noon in here. We get some of the morning work done, noon content, uh, and I don't eat at all. So some days nothing, just coffee, energy drink. Today I had a protein bar, nothing, and then I'll go eat a big meal after this. Um, so yeah, a lot of it's personal preference. Whatever helps you mentally and whatever helps your stomach. Let us know. Yeah. So if you didn't dig in, we're squatting every day, I'm in the gym, and you should probably go back to the first video where I go into a little bit of history and what we're doing. But like we just talked about, when you manipulate variations and you manipulate volume, intensity, and frequency, it's gonna be nearly impossible to have volume, intensity, and frequency all very high. We gotta adjust these dials. So right now, since my frequency is very high, how often I'm squatting, my intensity is high, I'm getting close to one rep maxes or 85 and above percent, my volume's gotta go way down. So I'm basically just doing one to two working sets, just top singles or doubles every day, keeping it simple. So I haven't been to all the new homies gyms, you know, Corrupted and Alpha Land, I have not been. Um, but we'll probably try to go within the year. Obviously, like putting the blood, sweat, and tears of not only visually creating this, but physically building this gym, my number one gym. Um, Barber Brigade is literally a second home. Um, Bart and Gio are, are blood family to me. And I know these are all like YouTube ones, but like the truth is like these are the actual homies. The other one's Untamed Strength. Alan Thrall is one of my favorite guys, let alone in the industry, but on the planet. We used to train together every single day for years. Love Alan. Those are those are the three go-tos until we go and tour Corrupted and Alpha Land. Power build. Shout out to Colin. CT Whitney, man. Philadelphia, stand up. What's your opinion on training in the heat? I might have gone a little harsh in our last video on some of these new newbie lifters. Um, and a lot of that depends on where you live, right? Sacramento, for those that don't know, it's not sunny LA. We're seven hours north of LA, basically. Summers tend to be 80, 85 is the coldest day you're gonna get in the summer, right? We're talking 90s, 100s, very often. Maybe it's because I was raised, you know, my first strength and conditioning coach was like a bodybuilding warehouse style gym. Um, and we trained out with a bunch of football cats. And after that, as you guys know, super training and bar brigade and, and, and the places I've been, I like working out in the heat. Um, I think it feels good on my joints, it feels good on my mentals. As long as you stay hydrated, it's about it. I understand winters, you know, you live in North Dakota or some shit. It's probably impossible to do. You'd probably die. Summer times right now, what are we at? 90, 93 degrees at, at noon. I honestly like it, man. A little bit of sweat, 
never hurt nobody. Ladies and gentlemen, man, brand new videos every Tuesday, Thursday. Be sure to subscribe, give this thing a thumbs up. Again, Santa Clara uh, Power Fest Expo, August 13th. I'll see you all there. Our meet September 10th and 11th. Open gym for everybody on the 10th. The meet is open to spectators, just small entry fee. I'm Solomon Mike. Everyone want to find me, man. Be a part of something bigger than yourself. We'll catch you in the next one.